Good morning. Morning. So, we're not talking about cancer. No. I saw that. I was like, who's dying in the executive team? That's <laughs> like one of our one of our um, one of our fans is dying of cancer. What? Well, no, he's not dying. He has cancer. He's going through chemo. And his wife hit us up and was just like, he's a huge Worm Life fan. It would be so cool if the guys from Worm Life made a video being like. Keep on going. Hey there, <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Doug not being here it sucks. There's like multiple reasons why yeah. he should be in this conversation. Yeah, he's pretty much the only one who can be in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's like a black guy making black jokes. Yep. Like it's just, there's just like a pass on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, like, it's, it's, it's true. Yeah. You'd be like, we're with him. I got a friend with cancer. With cancer. <laughs> we, have friends. we have friends with cancer. Well, um, we gotta get Ed. Ed wants to be in on. Okay. If that was Ed, I would have freaked out. Ahead. What's up, bro? What are you doing here? I'm uh, meeting up with the Fatato. We're doing a little prophecy set build. Ooh, love that. We're talking about cancer. <laughs> oh. No, we have a fan who has cancer. Like they're going through chemotherapy and his wife hit us up and wants to make like a video of like the guys at Wormwood being like, keep on going. That's it. If you're watching this, you know, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go to Lake Sebago? I did about three years ago. Lake Sebago, that's big up Massachusetts. They love Lake Sebago, it's up in Maine. There's a river up in Massachusetts. No, 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 sorry. It's in, I think it's in New Hampshire. Like people just get on it. They get on floaties and like rafts and they just drink down the river. <laughs> you just like load up onto a river and they just drink on the river. I'm pretty sure I saw people doing that on the Susquehanna the other day. It's not much of a river, but <laughs> yeah, it's a creek. It's a drinking creek. Yeah. Here's Johan. Do you drink on creeks? Do you drink, Yo Johan, are you a drinker? You a drinker? You're German, though. I'm the oddball. Wait, that is weird. So you so you don't, you never, the, no, no, no. Oktoberfest, right? Isn't that, is that Germany or Austria? Where's Oktoberfest? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a Germany thing, yeah. It's a Germany thing. Is that Munich? We have a good one even in Reading here. It's one of the best ones on the East Coast. Really? Yeah. Oktoberfest. Johan puts his Lederhosen on. What are Lederhosen? <laughs> They're like little leather, leather pants. They're short or half long, it depends on. Above the knee? Above the knee, yeah. Above the knee. How's it pronounced? Leather. Leather? Which is leather. Leather pants, that's all what it is. Oh, le leather hosen leather. is leather pants? Leather. Yeah. But that, well, why wouldn't they call them leather shorts? <laughs> are, they, are they made of leather? Hmm? Like a thick leather or like a yeah, thin... Yeah, pretty good cowhide. Pants that sounds terrible. <laughs> that, wait, it's, they're just like... That leather is, shorts that is on something. suspenders. That's lead leading hosen, leader hosen, leader hosen, leader hosen. Leder, leder, leder hosen. That's leder hosen. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a. He's trying would, to throw accent. It would that. sound. It would, that's chafing. They are softer on the inside than on the outside. Are they the outside lined? Depends on how extravagant you want to go. I'm sure they are. Lined but who's? Ones. But people don't wear these normally now. No, it's a traditional garb from the Bavarian, from the Alps, basically. Uh, the this Bavarians the, again. Yeah, it's uh, the hillbillies in Germany. The hillbillies, the Bavarians. Das ist gut. <laughs> Johann does not like the Bavarians. No comment. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at this Chad. This is peak performance. Look at that guy. That is, yeah. Johan, do you own a pair of no. Lederhosen? No. Dude, God. there's lady ones too. That's not traditional. <laughs> I disagree. Yeah. I think it's a dog. Mm -hmm. It is something which started basically in the Middle Ages as work clothes because they are indestructible, these things. Mm. That's what this started with. Mm. Wormwood Lederhosen. The is company this a, uniform. Is this. Ooh, oh, that could be the shop go. uniform. <laughs> That could be the uniform. Be the answer to the pants problem. Yeah, mandated lederhosen. Lederhosen. God, this is a hard word. Lederhosen. Lederhosen. Better. Thank you. It's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what Crazy Ed thinks, because we gotta go talk to him right now. <laughs> Have you ever worn lederhosen? Is that like a German onesie? We have requests coming in. Four 
Screens and tables. Boo! We don't like doing screen. I don't like doing screens and tables. The first Kickstarter we did for Modular Game Table, we offered screens. We produced 12 of them. Yes. They were very not popular. Thousands and thousands and thousands of customers. And not a lot of them wanted screens. Okay? Anyway. What we're going to do is for the highly motivated customer that wants to have a wormwood table, that wants to have a screen, I want to develop a screen solution that we will put through our custom shop. I don't want to do a mass market screen because A, I think it's an enormous amount of engineering. In order to get the cost down, you have to buy a ton of hardware, you get a ton of TVs, like we're going to have a pile of screens. TVs basically here. And the market has not shown that there's mass market appeal for this kind of table. Every single table that has had screen integrations and all those things that are low cost, they don't do well. I think there's just a sub, a small number of highly motivated gamers that are gaming in a certain way. They want a screen. So I want to be able to take those folks and take care of those folks through our custom shop. My challenge to you guys is I want to develop almost, I'll call it a screen vocabulary, where if someone comes and says, hey, I want this size screen, this type of screen, we can be like, yeah, we can do that. Or if someone over here has, wants a much smaller screen for their coffee table, yeah, we can do that. Or I want a big screen for my prophecy. Yeah, we can do that. Any thoughts on this? A bit opinions? Anybody have any opinions? I think it's a good idea. And I'm afraid there's going to be somebody that wants, like, I want a touch screen. And then this one's like, I want a backlit LED or from, like, right? Like, there's so, there's so many different types. Like, I don't think that went well. That was a job interview. And she showed up, like, kind of late. Also, when Rich asked her how she was doing, she just said, eh. <laughs> JV's in on it. What is it? What is it? Mean tree. Say Tom. His name's Tom. We're like wishing Tom the best. He's dealing oh. with. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're, you're like, I'm, I'm disappointed. Like, game over now. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's claiming ass cancer. Okay, yeah. That's, yeah, what yeah, that's what he says. That's what he says. Claiming? You don't think he actually has it? No, like, that's what, he, <laughs> that's what he sure. That's what he calls it. That's what he calls it. Yeah. Not colon cancer. He calls it right. ass cancer. Oh, yeah. So his wife says. He has chemotherapy. He's dealing with that through his birthday, which is 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> and worm life during chemo is the only thing getting him through? Is that what's happening? He's a big fan. <laughs> yeah. He's a big fan. His wife's putting together a compilation of people being like, keep on going. She wanted us to do something, which wasn't really on brand for us, so I thought we'd just awkwardly mm. talk about it for a while. <laughs> well, it's not, yeah. It's not that we're pro-cancer, per se. <laughs> you know, we're against it, we just don't usually. We don't usually weigh in, I suppose. No. <laughs> what do you have to say for, for Tom? <laughs> About cancer? About Tom, you know, give Tom, you know, good old... Tom, thanks. Yeah. yeah, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Bro, this is such a bad idea. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It's Ian dying, it's getting me. It was good, what are you gonna say? Oh my god. Keep going, Tom. Uh, You're in our thoughts. Happy birthday. And uh, Happy birthday, yep. And you'll be good. I hope it's the best 9-11 ever. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Hopefully your ass comes out on top. <laughs> <laughs>